Are you building generative AI applications and finding yourself writing the same boilerplate code over and over again? Today, I'm going to show you how Vercel AI SDK can make your generative AI development workflow incredibly smooth. By the end of this video, you will understand exactly what Vercel AI SDK is, why you need it, and how it can save hours of development time. Let's dive in. First, let's understand the fundamental architecture of generative AI applications. At its core, we have large language models or LLMs that works in a simple input-output pattern. You send input to LLMs, it processes that information and returns generated output. But here's where it gets interesting in real-world application. In practice, user interacts with LLMs through interfaces, for example, web browser, mobile apps, or text applications. They type their question or prompts and expect to see responses in a user-friendly format. Now, you might think, why don't we just call the LLM API directly from the front end? Well, there's a critical security problem here. LLM APIs require authentication through API keys. These keys are essentially passwords that give access to your AI services. If you embed these keys in your front end code, they become visible to anyone who inspects your application. This is why we need a backend service, typically Node.js or Next.js, etc., right? which is acting as a security proxy between your UI and the LLM APIs. But here's another challenge. Different LLM providers have completely different APIs. Let me show you what I mean. Anthropic API looks like this, while Gemini's API looks like this. And OpenAI has its own format too. If you want to switch providers or support multiple models, you need to write different code for each one. That's not scalable. This is where Versal AI SDK comes to rescue. The core package provides a unified interface for working with different LLM providers. You don't need to deal with complicated, provider-specific APIs. Instead, you get easy-to-use functions like generate text and stream text that works with any supported provider. But that's not all. Sometimes, you want more than just text. You want structured data like JSON objects. The generate object and stream object functions let you set up the structure and get a neatly formatted responses. Now let's talk about frontend. When building AI interfaces, you need to handle a lot of complexity. Loading states while waiting for the responses, error handling when things go wrong, abort functionality if user wants to cancel the request, and if you're doing streaming responses, then managing that real-time data flow. Plus, you need to manage conversation history, handle multiple messages, keep track of UI state versus AI state. It gets messy really fast. This is where Versal AI SDK UI package becomes a game changer. It provides multiple hooks that handle all this complexity for you. The use chat hook handles entire conversation flow. Conversation history, input handling, error states, form submission all handled automatically. For single completions, you have use completion hook. And for structured responses in the front end, there's use object hook. Each hook handles streaming, error states, retries, and abort functionality out of the box. Let's see the complete picture now. Your front end uses Versal AI SDK UI hooks to manage states and user interaction. These hooks communicate with your backend API routes that uses Versal AI SDK core functions to standardize LLM calls across different providers. And that's Versal AI SDK is. It solves the standardization problem across LLM providers, handles all the complex front-end state management, and makes building AI applications developer-friendly. If you're building AI applications, I highly recommend checking it out. The documentation is excellent, and it will save you tons of development time. In the next video, I'm going to show you the real example and code walkthrough of how Versal AI SDK actually works. So stay tuned and subscribe to my channel.